Soul Meds 1. Today we want to talk about and meditate on less stress. Kind of seems like a silly idea to meditate on less stress. But really, stress is a part of a life. We want to focus on that thought for a minute. Without stress, our bodies will be limp. When it drives us, we have health problems. Give your stress to Jesus and experience peace that passes understanding. We need stress, that's true. But we carry too much stress because we worry about too many things which are not ours to worry about. That's why a relationship with Jesus, he takes the stress, he gives us peace. That's a good exchange, don't you think? For scripture today, we want to look at Philippians 4 and read just a few verses. Philippians 4. I'm reading from the NIRV. We're going to start with verse 6. Don't worry about anything. No matter what happens, tell God about everything. Ask and pray and give thanks to Him. Then God's peace will watch over your hearts and your minds. He will do this because you belong to Christ Jesus. God's peace can never be completely understood. Finally, my brothers and sisters, always think about what is true. Think about what is noble, right, and pure. Think about what is lovely and worthy of respect. If anything is excellent or worthy of praise, think about these kinds of things. Do what you have learned or received or heard from me. Follow my example. The God who gives peace will be with you. At last, you are concerned about me again. That makes me very happy. We belong to the Lord. I know that you are concerned. But you had no chance to show it. I'm saying this because I need anything. I have learned to be content no matter what happens to me. I know what it's like not to have what I need. I also know what it's like to have more than what I need. I have learned the secret of being content no matter what happens. I am content whether I'm well fed or hungry. I am content whether I have more than enough or not enough. I can do all this by the power of Christ. He gives me strength. And that's verse 13 for today. Living as Christians is not always easy. We have the same emotions and desires as others. And when Christ, when Paul writes this chapter in Philippians, he is concerned. Remember the hardest thing we have to do as Christians is keeping our eyes focused on Jesus. Perhaps the second is to do what Paul says in the first verse our reading is give our cares to him. If you don't have enough, if you have too much, what's your worry? Focusing on less stress today, we worry about how image consumes, consumes people. Image is important if we focus on how God sees us, not others, people will see Jesus, the image of Jesus, not us. That's kind of the difference between when we're stressed about image, you know, what do we look like in front of everybody? What kind of points can we get socially? What kind of crowd can we hang around with? That gives us stress and Keeping up with the Joneses, as we say in English, is really stressful. In Asian culture, suicides happen because of loss of faith. You lose your business because of 
not because of what you do, but maybe because of economy. Failure, personal or business, creates extreme stress with some people in some cultures. To view our life as Jesus does change this phenomenon. Leaving our failures at the feet of Christ and follow the path he set would free us from the bondage of others' expectations. Not my expectations, not Jesus' expectations, but other people's expectations. Other people expect us to be a certain way. And so the stress is keeping up with their expectations and not Jesus' expectations. Jesus expects us to be more than followers. Many people follow Jesus, but not many became disciples. And that's what Jesus wants. Jesus wants, you know, he chose you as a Christian and he wants you to be not just a follower, not just a little reader of the Bible now and again, or go to church. He wants you to be a disciple. Disciples choose to obey his directions. And in response to that, Jesus has promised peace, power, and confidence. What more could we ask? Peace, when everybody else is stressed. Power, when other people don't have direction, and confidence to go in directions when nobody follows. Many people follow Jesus. Not many people became disciples. Most today, people follow the, the person who pays the best. And I know people who go to churches who have the best candy or the best lunch or the best programs. We follow the best, like we said before, and not Jesus. If we read the Apostle Paul's books, we find disciples everywhere, but not in any great numbers. Their lives were attracted to the peers because of their attitudes. Churches planted by Paul struggled with holy leadership. That's not an uncommon idea. But the Christians were attracted to Jesus and other people wanted to destroy them. They, they were attracted to the peace. They really wanted it, but it showed their life. And just like if you follow Jesus, people will be attracted to you. The power that you have, the confidence you have, the peace you have, People will want that. Transitioning from follower to disciple takes a commitment and involves risk. This is the King of Kings. So why do we have reservations? He is the top. There is nobody higher. So why do we have reservations about following as a disciple? Committing our life to Him. If we remember the criticism when Jesus' mother wanted time, Jesus said, Who is my mother? Sounds kind of crass, but a good point for Jesus. My parents told me I needed to be careful of what I wore, what I did, because of others' opinions. And that's a wise advice. We have to be careful. But we become so worried about our image, we forget about the image of Jesus we give to the world. Now you can't really separate the two ideas. Act like Jesus or only please people. You can't do both. You have to choose. Can you imagine how Paul wants us to live? Not being burdened by our cares so we can stay focused that's why we give Jesus our stress so that we can stay focused on our relationship with Jesus Christ. If we didn't care, we wouldn't be good parents or teachers. If we didn't plan, we wouldn't be good business people. What Paul is saying here is that we need to let God take care of things we cannot control. We can make the budget, but we can't control how the budget's going to be made. 
We worry about our image. We can only control what we do, not others. Jesus has to take care of the rest. We get stressed because we worry about what isn't ours. That's other people's business, other people's decisions, not ours. We worry about the desires that we have that someone might see. God sees everything, so why are we worried? And every, even when we do not see some things. In verse 7, we find the result of letting our stress go and let God take care of it. it results in peace. Not the peace on the outside when we hide everything inside and we have this face of peace. No, no. Not the peace we show on the outside, but an inner calmness. This peace is like a calmness that doesn't get ruffled. It's a strength and people are drawn to it because it's that calmness which people really desire. The emotion we show our friends is not shallow and it's unchangeable. Rather, it's deeper than anything, giving us the confidence to move in any storm. The storm will always be never far, but it's our confidence to move forward, knowing that a, star, a, a storm is just around the corner. We don't have to be worried about the storm. When the snake bit Paul after the storm, he had the confidence to say everything was going to be all right. Did he care? Did he care that he got bit? He was a dangerous snake. Of course he did. And if you've ever been bitten by a snake, it hurts. The confidence to give assurance of the end result made Paul different. It was a standout idea. Here's Paul. He was going as a prisoner. And he was the only one to have confidence say nobody's going to get hurt. Don't worry. Don't be stressed. Paul writes to the church in Philippi from experience to follow him. Do as I say. Do as I do. Follow my example. To live our lives rightly is to choose the right person to follow. We need to focus our eyes on those things that are true, have honor, are upright, are holy, are beautiful, are of value. If there is any virtue and if there is any praise, Give thought to these things. If we stay focused on those things and not on all the other things, we will have not only less stress, but much more power and energy in our life. We should not focus on those things that take us off of these things or follow people who encourage us to do differently than those things. John writes in Revelation, there will be false teachers and many will follow. People who follow God have peace and confidence and money can't buy that. You can have a nice car and a beautiful house. Everybody will be jealous of you. But you can't buy the peace and confidence that God gives you. It isn't dependent on anything else other than the power of God. We need to have less stress. How do you get rid of stress? There are so many books and so many motives, uh, so many ideas about how to do it. Who do you follow? Follow the Word of God. Follow Scripture because Jesus has the answer. He is the only one. All the others will give you temporary peace. And then you have to go find a new person. You have to pay more money to get that peace, to learn those techniques. Read scripture. That's the number one to less stress. For reflection, we have three questions today. What cares do I keep to fix myself? Okay, one more time. 
What cares do I keep to fix myself? I don't give everything to Jesus. I should. I like to keep some things to myself. I think I can do a better job. I don't need Jesus to fix some things. What are those kind of things? Write them down. How would, give, how would, how would giving Jesus all my cares change my stress level? If Jesus took everything that you cared about, all those stresses, all those insecurities, all those fears, all the things that you think about in the future, all the plans, how would it change if Jesus took that and your stress level went down? How would give Jesus my cares change my world? How would other people react if I was the one with God's peace and everybody around was stressful? Giving Jesus my cares changes the way people see me. But not see me, but see Jesus because I am a reflection of a relationship with Jesus Christ. To close with prayer. Lord, I am full of stress. I need to give to you. My world would be more peaceful and I would have more confidence if I gave them to you. Enable me to be a better image of you. In Jesus' name.